Hey yo guys, what is up? I'm not stealthy bro, and as you can see, there's a couple thieves, one, but two, I am back in Retail Tycoon 2, and yes, it is that time, it is the weekly update review, so I'm gonna be going over what they did, because they did an NPC update, and I gotta say, it's actually pretty huge. I'm pretty sure I suggested this in another video before, or maybe a live stream, so if anyone finds that clip and tells me where it's from, then uh, you can do that, but... Uh, what they added, I basically predicted it because I mean it makes sense and all. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see what it is. Let's get right into it, guys. But yeah, here we go. We have shopping carts finally. I said I feel like I predicted this. I don't know if I said it on video or not, but they have shopping carts now. It's amazing. And I just saw an NPC earlier say he preferred to have like a shopping cart or something. So obviously not everybody wants one just because I mean maybe they're not getting that many items now but like with the many items such as like these ammo boxes or something they're more likely to stock up on more of them now so just for the low price of 2000 for how many shopping carts is that uh 7 14 not bad uh so you get the railing and stuff for 2000 uh the customers can take the carts i'm not sure if they like walk with them um, if they do, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen any do it with that yet, though. But you also not only have shopping carts, but you also have these little motor, like the little, uh, what do they call them? I'm trying to figure out. Mo mobility scooters. There we go. That's what I saw somebody want earlier. So you got mobility scooters for another 2000 for, you know, the people that need them, the dis you know, people with disability. And I'll look at them. There he goes clearly just walked up to it but uh yeah he's taking it he's taking it for a little stroll right there now he's gonna probably get a couple ammo boxes yeah there he goes but yeah also just in case they're getting something light you can also buy these little basket ones which i love getting these little basket ones at the stores in real life because you know i don't really get too much anyway so yeah in the build section right in the amenities again i guess these would yeah this would count as an amenity actually some of like the vending machine i wouldn't really count as one but these ones definitely so yeah you could buy the baskets for 500 and there's like a couple stacks of them you get you know i think this is about as much as many shopping carts i'm not sure but yeah you got a pretty good amount for the amount you're paying for the basket ones but probably the shopping carts are best way to go since, I mean, people can stuff a whole bunch of more things in them. And as I said, with the, with the announcement of this on the Discord, the customers will be more likely to buy more items from you if they have a shopping cart. So, for a 2,000 one-time fee, uh, getting customers to buy things more quicker, I think is a pretty great deal. I'm not going to lie. So, I definitely recommend getting the shopping carts when you can. But also, they actually have another update, which you might notice it now. There are little kids in the game. Get out of here, Robert. I'm making a bad impression. But yeah, there are uh, kids in the game that they added now. So, you know what? Pretty cool. I feel like that should have probably been in the game sooner. It's not that hard. You basically just scale down the models. Maybe make, like, uh, different ones. Because, you know, they're kids. They'll have uh, wacky hairstyles and stuff. But yeah, so you got kid NPCs now, which gotta say love the attention to detail yeah i like everything about this update to be honest it adds a lot of new features that are either helpful or as i said attention to detail so yeah there we go but wait a minute you thought it was gonna end there no it is not gonna end there there's actually one more thing they added that improves the game a lot a lot so it is actually gonna be a new way to get up from one place to another can you guess it Yes, it is elevators right here. <clears throat> you can add an elevator shaft for 15,000, place it wherever, and I'm assuming it goes upstairs. Well, guys, while trying to uh, <clears throat> figure out how the elevator works, it looks like I have dropped into the back rooms now because I am under the whole map. But yeah, here we go, getting back on track now. So I figured it out, you have to place two elevators, so it's actually going to cost you 30 grand for the setup total. But what you do is you go into build mode, you go to movement, 
and you have to place one on the bottom floor and as you saw right now place one on the top floor directly on each other or else I'm assuming it just won't work so yeah what you do what your NPCs do is all they do is go in here and then boom it'll teleport you just like that so gotta say I actually love that update it's actually uh, really useful no need for stairs anymore or escalators if you choose to you know do that although it can't hold like all the people in the store in there it, it's pretty helpful and having multiple of them would probably get rid of the need for stairs and all so yeah there we go but yeah there we go that is going to be it for today's video if you found it helpful enjoyable then leave a like down below why not it helps out my channel a lot so that'd be really appreciated and if you want to see more retail tycoon 2 updates or content when uh, you know it's getting a little dry or something or when they update then you know subscribe to the channel because I do videos on Retail Tycoon whether they update or not so yeah if you want to see more of that subscribe and I'll see you in another one peace out